morning you guys today I am making pizza fries pizza fries will be easy to eat um, gooey and cheesy and everything we love in pizza I have not made this yet this is the first time so the exact amounts will be closer to the end of the video and on the blog post but this is what it's going to take keep in mind you can stuff your pizza fries with anything that you like on your pizza you can use sausage, you can use black olives, you can do just veggie. Um, what I have on hand today is pepperoni, so that's what I will be using, and cheese of course. So other than that, we are going to use some marinara for the inside and for dipping. It's going to take two pie crusts, which is one box of Pillsbury pie crust. If you've seen my uh, past videos, I recommend using a name brand for the pie crust. I have tried store brand and it just doesn't work. So I do recommend Pillsbury. They are foolproof. And I am going to be brushing the entire top with some olive oil, some oregano for seasoning, and some Parmesan cheese. So this is my um, ingredient list for the pizza fries, but like I said, get creative, uh, use whatever you would like uh, normally on your pizza. And then I have a big cutting board for working and a little decorative cutting wheel to cut the fries out. They will all be baked up on a sheet pan at a 350 degree oven. So when I get back, you can watch me assemble everything and we will move forward from there. So I will see you back here in a minute. Okay, so what I have done is I spread a half cup of the marinara sauce all over the bottom crust and spread that around evenly. You can go pretty much all the way to the edge. And then I just topped it with some pepperoni. This is the stage that if you want to create whatever kind of pizza that you like, you would go ahead and add your black olives or sausage or anything that you like on your pizza. You could do pineapple. It is endless possibilities with this. So I just did some pepperoni and now I'm going to top the whole thing with about, I'm thinking, a half cup of the shredded mozzarella. And again, any more than that and we might have a hard time turning these into fries. So I'm being just a little bit cautious with the filling. So I'm going to go ahead and even out the cheese, put the top crust on. And when we get back, I will um, brush it with a little bit of olive oil, season it up, and we will cut it into fries. So I will see you here in just a minute. Okay, here comes the fun part. This is my favorite part. I love seeing an idea come together. And this is the stage that you can usually tell, okay, this is going to work. I think it's going to be tasty and simple. And... We still have to keep our fingers crossed though because sometimes you just never know. So right now I'm just brushing the top crust with, oh, about, I don't know, a teaspoon or so of olive oil because it is pizza. And a little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. I think this will just give it a real nutty, toasty kind of flavor to the fries and it will, in a strange way, mimic the salt that you usually see on fries. Don't get confused. I mean, you can definitely add salt right now, uh, but I know with my apple pie fries, a lot of people thought that the sugar was salt, and it isn't. It's just mimicking the salt. And here comes a little bit of oregano. Gotta have oregano. And again, you can feel free to customize this. You can add some red pepper flake. Uh, you can add some garlic. Just get creative. This is really like just a method of creating something unique and fun. I think that's enough. So now I'm going to take that cutting wheel, let me move this, and just cut about half inch strips. And work it a little bit because we are getting through that pepperoni. So that makes it just a little bit 
tougher than if there were no pepperoni in there. But I have to have pepperoni on my pizza and I have to have it inside my pizza fries. If you don't have a cutting wheel, that's fine. Actually, in this case, a sharp knife would work just as well, if not even better. So I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting these. Once I get them all cut this way, I'm going to go across once in this direction to create fries about three or four inches long. And then I will be placing them onto the baking sheet into the oven at 350. And that's it. When we get back, I will let you know exactly how long they were in there and we will see the final result. So as always, keep your fingers crossed. Let's hope this works out and we will see you back here. Hey guys, I wanted to show you real quick in the process of me transferring these fries to the baking sheet. I don't want any of you freaking out. They are stuffed. So just show them who's boss, get them onto a little spatula, gently transfer each one individually onto your baking sheet arrange them back together if they should slide apart. No big deal. The oven will make all of this perfect. So just get them on there, take your time. Use a spatula and be gentle with them. So depending on how much you stuff them with will determine your level of anxiety when you're transferring them. But remember, it's just food, it's no big deal. They're gonna be delicious and get them onto your baking sheet. So again, I will see you back here when they're all done. See you in just a minute. Okay, you guys, here they are. They were in the oven at 350 for exactly 30 minutes. They took a little longer, I think, because of the pepperoni. I have them on a cooling rack here, cooling off. They look amazing. They look so delicious and fun to eat. The cheese did leak out a little bit, but once they cool, you can kind of just shove it back into place. And that is why we shouldn't go over a half a cup of cheese. Um, just for minimal leakage. So don't let that uh, melted cheese freak you out. Just let them cool off and they will be good to go. I am going to go ahead and give one a try. Just because I can't wait any longer and I can give you an accurate taste test. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Those are so good. The pie crust is so much better, in my opinion, than regular pizza crust. It's so flaky and buttery and it absorbs all the flavor, all that pizza goodness. The pepperoni and the cheese. Mmm. These are good. I hope you give them a try. I'm going to go ahead and get some photos now for the blog. You can see those final photos on there and the exact recipe. So let me know what you think of these and we will see you next time. Bye.